My wife had phoned me and said, you need to get home from Okotoks because it's, it's pretty bad here. And I thought, well, how bad can it be? It's the same as every other spring. But uh, when I got back to town and the chaos that was going on and, and the police and, and emergency vehicles were out and they were trying to direct traffic as best they could and they honestly, I don't think, knew where to send anybody, um, it, it blew my mind. Yeah, thinking that it was coming our way and then to see it actually slowly coming down the street when we left, it was just in the gutters at that point. But uh, just knowing it was that close, it was, was pretty scary. I never in a million years did my wife or I figure that uh, we were going to end up with water at our place. But, uh, you know, at that time we knew my parents who live on the West End were underwater. Uh, my wife's mother, she lives at the bottom of the Water Tower Hill. We knew she was underwater. So when I got home from work, I just simply started turning our house into like an evacuation center. Um, setting up cots downstairs, getting spare blankets and everything ready. We thought we'd be entertaining house guests for a while. And uh, then there was a knock at the door and the fellow said, the water's a few blocks away and you guys need to get out of town. So quickly we realized there was nowhere safe in town that anyone could stay. So we ended up uh, heading to Calgary along with many other people that day and the rest is history as, uh, you know, we threw one set of clothes in a backpack thinking we'd be back the next day and that turned into the weeks that it were. I had, uh, you know, I guess that glimmer of hope that we might have still been okay. I was like, no, it, it couldn't have got this far. I, I really didn't think we would still have had any water in our basement, but um, we never ended up with any overland flooding, but five and a half feet of sewage was down there. So, you know, the result was the same, whether it was overland or sewage, it's, a basement is a basement, you know, everything down there was no good and, and uh, it, uh, it, the shot, yeah, it took a while for it to set in. You really don't believe it until you see it. Obviously I pick up recycling and, and that was the last thing on people's minds at that point with the garbage that was everywhere and the mounds and mounds of things that were ending up out at the landfill. But yeah, to, to see it, it's still thinking about it, it's almost like a dream. Like we all lived it, but uh, you know, the traffic and, and just everyone was parked everywhere and it, you know it was what we needed to go through in order to get cleaned up and get better but it it uh, yeah still thinking about it, it it's really hard to believe that we all live through it and and uh, at some point you got to get back to some sort of normalcy and, and you just create a new normal I think is what everyone did